Thank you very much, Mr. Yes. Chairman. I, it's a delight to see two of my very favorite members, two of my chairmen. I have my chairman of the Budget Committee. I have my chairman of the Bourbon Caucus. I'm a proud member of both. <laughs> I listen to my chairman of the Bourbon Caucus about bourbon. I listen to my chairman of the Budget Committee about the budget and, uh, and tend to vote accordingly. So, uh, But it is uh, two really great members. Um, I just wanted to make a couple of comments, uh, uh, and if you care to respond, that's fine. The first is on something I know a fair amount about, which is the Planned Parenthood portion of this. I think it's important for anybody listening to proceedings to understand we don't fund Planned Parenthood. Uh, there's nothing in anything Congress has passed uh, that funds Planned Parenthood. Uh, we have an administration that makes decisions and through grants, because it's about uh, 280 odd million dollars of family planning money in the omnibus, uh, and about 60 million of that finds its way to Planned Parenthood, which is about a tenth of what they get. They get most of the money through Medicaid. So anybody that tells you the bill funds Planned Parenthood, they just simply didn't. Uh, that was That's a presidential choice, an administration choice. Um, it's done through a competitive process, to be fair. Uh, and, uh, you know, a different president could come to a different point of view. So uh, uh, that I think that's important for people to know. Um, second uh, point, though, relates to the whole larger question of Obamacare, which, like every Republican was here at the time, I oppose and have multiple times voted to repeal. And uh, I'm not one that says there are no winners under Obamacare. There are some winners. There's no question that some people are better off. But the balance of people are worse off. I mean, uh, and I think the statistics are pretty compelling that uh, people were, who were happy with what they had are paying more and getting less now. That's just the reality. Their deductibles are higher. Their insurance is higher. Uh, and we did not find a way to improve for some without hurting the many. And uh, I think that's what we're trying to do here is find an effective way to, to make sure that we don't punish Americans that were satisfied with what they have uh, as the way to help others. And there's got to be a different and a better way. I'm particularly pleased in here that uh, uh, the legislation does require that we present an alternative. I think that's something, frankly, I would say on our side we should have done a long time ago. I know my friend, Mr. Price, uh, Chairman Price, thinks that. Uh, he's worked hard on some alternatives. And there are competing Republican alternatives out there. The Republican Study Committee's had one for years that's had, you know, 100-odd, 130 or 40 co-sponsors. So I think we'll get to that point. But I think it's an important point in the debate. Yes, we do know that the president uh, will almost certainly veto it. Uh, but uh, that, uh, that's uh, his prerogative. Uh, if he chooses to do it. But I think then the responsibility is very clear about who, uh, you know, who defends this system and who would like to find a different alternative. So this is an important step. It's something uh, and people uh, laugh about. We've done this 50-odd times. It's the first time we've gotten it to the president's desk because it's the first time we've had the Senate in a position to cooperate. Uh, and it's, uh, it's fair to point out uh, our friends on the other side in the upper body, or the other body, I should say, uh, you know, have consistently presented a debate from occurring there and, and going on to the president. That's the only reason why it hasn't. this hasn't been resolved, at least at the presidential level, a long time ago. Uh, I do think it's an important issue in the upcoming presidential campaign. I think both sides will make it an important issue. Um, and, uh, you know, that's something that I think this helps set the stage for, uh, for both the, the proponents and the opponents. Uh, so... It's a, it's a debate that's going to be with us. It's an important contribution to it. I thank both of you for being here and uh, uh, helping crystallize the, uh, the issues so people can see how the two sides differ and where, uh, you know, where responsibility for Planned Parenthood funding resides and, frankly, where responsibility for uh, the Obamacare presides. And then we'll, we'll have an election. We'll see uh, what people think. With that, yield back, Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much.